I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to yet another player review. We have the 92 rated objective Summer Heat Rusalon. Uh, he of course has a uh, footmas card, which well out of date by now. Uh, I think it was, was it quite expensive when it came out? I'm pretty sure it was quite expensive. Uh, or maybe it was another objective. I don't know, I can't remember actually, but either way, um, I had that card and I used him a fair bit, but now that we have this 92, I've got a. I mean, I don't want to like sit here and moan about it because it's a it's a good card, and I think it's going to be one that definitely fits an awful lot of what you need for this game. You know, I'm trying to avoid that word, but um, meta essentially. But definitely one of those cards that will fit the game well, uh, and one of those cards I can see popping up an awful lot because it's just not a difficult card to complete at all. You can quite literally just stick squad battles on. If you're good enough to just sort of half pay attention to it, you can just watch some TV or whatever while uh, watch some of my videos <coughs> while um, while completing it. Or you could do it in Rivals in conjunction with Coleman pretty much because they're both very similar with what you have to do. You could overlap them as I've done. Now, with that, you're going to get a 92-rated French left-back from the Bundesliga. We had Mbabu last week, which, of course, was um, from the same club. Very handy right back. Again, one of those situations where I just think, like, good card. Very good card, actually. But maybe uh, there are better cards out there that you, you know, could easily or link better into your team, for example. Like, you know, with Rousselon, it's a little bit different. You know, you've got that French... Uh, nation. There's an awful lot of good French players out there, but that kind of brings me to my point. We already have Mendy, right? Now, is Mendy better than Rousselon? His top-end card is absolutely 100%. Are the lower ones, like the 89, is that better than Rousselon? Because if you're going for Mendy, and maybe you've hit a brick wall with it, you can't be bothered anymore, and then you look at this Rousselon, you're thinking, Do you know what? I just need a French left-back. I don't even care about Mendy. So, yeah, there, there are definitely going to be some trade-offs for some people. This is definitely going to be a card that some will want to go after. Uh, you may be watching this for that reason. It doesn't really start off too well with three-star, three-star. Um, the left foot is obviously what you need as a left-back. Average body type, high attacking work rate, medium defensive. Getting to the um, the stats, and again, some, some nice solid stats. 94 acceleration, 98 sprint speed is very good. And then things kind of just go a little bit... I don't know, bland isn't the word I'm looking for, but it does go a bit meh, you know? It's like, they're good stats, but they're not blow your socks off good. And that's 86 agility, 87 balance, 87 reactions, 91 ball control, 90 dribbling, 86 composure. And then the passing. Passing solid. 97 crossing is fantastic if you get into that position where you can put the ball across the, uh, the penalty area, whether it be a, a low-driven pass, whether it be... I mean, a pass is probably not a cross, but you know what I mean? Low-driven cross or even a, a cross into the area, however you decide to do it, whether it be floating, driven or whatever, you're going to have accuracy on your side there, which is nice. I don't tend... I mean, I do get that far forward, but I don't tend to put crosses in with my fullbacks. Maybe I... Should have done more, so I don't know. Uh, we've got 8-9 to nine short passing as well, so we do play it across the penalty area, the six-yard area in particular. Likelihood is you're going to get some accuracy. The problem with it, of course, is uh, very similar to Coleman in that sense because they both played in the same team, of course. Um, the three-star weak foot. If you do get that far forward and you do decide, you know what, I'm going to put a cross in here, bear in mind that three-star weak foot, if you do cut back on the right foot, the problem was the complete opposite with Coleman of course he's right footed so if you do get down to the byline and you've got to play it back unless you've cut back onto the stronger foot you're gonna have a problem with Ruslan you've got to remember to not cut back and play it straight in so yeah there's a little bit of confusion there if you do decide to play two players on the same side with completely different strong feet and then with poor weak foot uh, capabilities good defensive stats very solid physicals as well I mean all round, to be fair, he is a solid card, and you don't need your fullback to be 90-plus in everything. You know, there are plenty of, of solid fullbacks out there that, that people use even now uh, that have come out ages ago. And what's that? I can't remember that guy's name. League SBC, Uruguayan right back. Forget his name. He is still used by a few people, and he's actually still very capable, but his stats are all like mid-80s. But it doesn't matter, because the stats only tell half the story. It's how he, you know the player plays in-game. 
is going to be obviously the rest of it like that. And I always come back to this guy as a perfect example. Ryan Kent's um, Europa League live card. That card should not be anywhere near anyone's team based on stats and stats alone. And yet it's still one of the most effective cards in the game because he's lightning quick and unbelievably good on the ball and has a five star weak foot. So, you know, you can't always read into the stats. Now, when it comes to traits, he has absolutely none. So it would have been nice to maybe have hit early cross, for example. Early crosses are such an underrated um, trait because it allows you to put the ball into the penalty area a lot sooner so that you don't need to get to the byline. You don't need to, to make sure by running deep into... Well, sort of not into the penalty area, but you know what I mean, in terms of um, in terms of depth on the field. You don't have to run that far. You can hit it early. And if you've got quick wingers, you can benefit from that massively. Uh, unfortunately, Ruslan doesn't have it. Someone like Trent, for example, I think he has it. It's just so handy to have. And are you probably thinking, well, how does that help? Well, if you try and cross the ball from deep, what happens is normally is you'll just dink the ball forward or you'll play a cross field pass. If you have hit early crosses trait or early cross trait or whatever it's called, they, they arc or arch the ball into the penalty area and it actually goes toward the penalty spot. And it just works so well for getting early goals, especially on counter-attacks. Early crosses for, for goals rather, rather than early goals. So is he any, is he any good? Yes, is the, is the answer. Is he the best left back I've used? No, uh, I, I, f I feel like Mendy is better, uh, much better actually. The 94 in particular is just head and shoulders above this card. Not to say that this card is unusable because that's, that's going to be the wrong message to take away from this video. He's definitely usable and it's definitely a card that even now you could put into your team and probably leave there till the end of the game, even though there are other cards out there that compete. Now, if you want maybe a um, a pH test uh, chart, if you uh, if you're into science, uh, then I can sort of go along the Mendes and tell you which one is good and bad in comparison, right? So the the ninth the, the highest one, uh, Mendy, is obviously much better than Rousselon. It's just head and shoulders better, weak foot better, and all the rest of it, right? Just just forget about it. You want that card if you can get it. If you can't be bothered or you can't link it because you need the, the, the Bundesliga link and the La Liga link doesn't work for you, then, okay, fine. Go for Rousselon. However, if the 89 is where you're at right now, maybe you're thinking, Do you know what? Don't think I'm going to be able to get that top end Mendy. Don't, don't think I, I can't. Is he 93 or 94, that Mendy? I've got him on one account. I've, got, I've nearly unlocked him on another account. And for the life of me, I can't remember whether he's... He's 93, I thought he was. So if you've unlocked the um, the 89 and you think, I can't be bothered to go for the 93, is it is he better than Rousselon? To be honest, as much as it... I wouldn't say pains me to say it because I don't really care either way. I'm not exactly a Wolfsburg fan or anything. But if you have the 89, you have a player with 5-star, five 5-star. Five and that is... It's... <laughs> It's not the be-all and end-all, but it is extremely valuable. You don't have a player who can defend as well. Rousselon is definitely better with regards to uh, defensive capabilities, just generally stopping advances. So if you're on a counter-attack, he can get back just as quick as Mendy. Uh, I wouldn't say um, quicker, but I mean, his 5'9 height against the 5'11 of Mendy, it might win you the odd inch here or there, uh, but they are both just as quick as each other. I'm, of course, just comparing to the 89, not the 93 Mendy. Um, but that's my point. Like, it's so sort of, there's nothing really there. There's there's a defensive mind, uh, mindedness of, of Rousselon is better than Mendy. Of course it is, right? He is just better at defending. But it's not to the to the degree that I would say, right, well, I've got this 89 Mendy. Oh, I'll go and get Rousselon and I'll put him in the team instead. I would, I mean, it depends really what you need, but I would much rather have a player, regardless of position, who is five star, five star, just as quick, just as good as passing, if not maybe even a little bit better, um, just as good going forward, even though they're both not particularly great at going forward. Mendy and, and Rousselon don't really have, I mean, they've got sort of ish shot power and not very good long shots, uh, but with regards to like strength and passing and all the rest of it, it, it's basically even. There's not an awful lot in it at all. So I would rather have a five-star, five-star 89 Mendy uh, with slightly less in sort of defensive capability than I would have a three-star, three-star Rousselon who knows how to defend just a little bit better. Because if you go and, and give that 89 Mendy 
the Guardian, for example, that I have, you now have a 95 rated left back, five star, five star. If you give Russell on the Guardian, you get a 96 rated left back, but you still only have three star, three star. So there's not an awful lot in it. If you need Russell on for links, you're going to get a great defender, unbelievably good at stopping counterattacks, very, very quick engine for days and can get forward and help you out as well as coming back and defending. But be mindful that of the three star skills weak foot. If it doesn't bother you, go for it. Why not? Indeed. However, if you already have the 89 Mendy and you're happy with him and you've got him in there with links and all sorts, realistically, other than just unlocking Ruslan for the sake of putting him into an SBC, I don't really see that there's any need to, to switch them. But it's honestly going to come down to personal preference. Do you need the five star skills and weak foot or are you happy with three star, three star? That's what it comes down to. Honestly, that's it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Of course, if you've got the 87 Mendy, you need to either get the 89 or you need to go to the Rusalon, whichever one. But, you know, uh, if you're going to unlock this, let me know in the comments. If it, it, Very interesting situation. But if you are going to unlock this and you already have a Mendy, are you going to replace that Mendy who is in your team right now with this Rusalon card? And if you are, why? Let me know in the comments. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.